Hello, home stylers, and welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I have missed you. I hope you guys have missed me. It's been a minute since I upload any video, you guys, but life is just happening um, outside of YouTube and I'm just rolling with it. But I'm back, you guys, and I have a collective haul for you today. I picked up some Easter decor and I can't wait to show you guys. Some of you may already see a few of these pieces because I shared it on a Sunday Night Live that I did. But I also have a few other pieces that I've been gathering because most of you also already know that I recently moved, so I'm trying to get this space together and I've been gathering some stuff for this space. So I'll share that with you as well in this video. I hope you guys have also had a really great Valentine. I know that Valentine's Day just passed, so happy Valentine's Day, you guys, if I haven't said so already. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let's get into today's haul, you guys. It's a collective haul. I've been to TJ Maxx, Home Goods, online. I shopped on Amazon.com through my girl Sandia's um, Amazon store, which I will link in the description box. So if you're interested in anything, go to the description box and check out my girl Sandia's Amazon store. All right, guys, let's just get into today's haul, all right? So I'm going to share my Easter decorations first. And you guys are going to love this, right? I'm going straight for the gorgeousness first. So we're starting off with this, if I can get it out the if I can get it out the bag, you guys. Okay. Ta-da! How pretty is this cute little carrot? Oh my gosh, it's pearl with a little marble base. So gorge. I picked this up from TJ Maxx and it was $9.99, you guys. I got two of these. So pretty. I can't wait to use it in the space and see how it all looks together with everything else that I got. But I absolutely love this carrot the size, everything about it. And like I said, I got two of them each, $9.99. And then to go with that, you guys, I picked up this cute little pearl bunny as well. It's for, it was $14.99 at TJ Maxx. And I thought it was absolutely pretty. And of course, it goes with the carrot. So can you see where I'm going with this, you guys? Beautiful. And when I purchased the bunny, they only had one. I wish they had another one, you guys, but they did not. And then a few days later, I went back, you guys, and saw this. And for some reason, I thought it was the same. So they're similar, as in they're both bunnies, right? But this is pearl and this is crystal. <laughs> Pearl and Crystal. And I also got this from TJ Maxx for $14.99. I think it's beautiful. So at first I was gonna take this back. My home stylers on my Sunday Night Live told me to keep it. So I'm gonna keep it and find a space for this. Okay, you guys, really pretty. I know all my glam queen will love that one. As well as, as well as this mosaic egg. Really nice. It's, it's a lamp, you guys, because it can light up. There's no batteries in it right now, but it has um, a place for you to put like a AA battery and light it up. And it was $12.99 at TJ Maxx. So really pretty, and I can't wait to use this. So then from Ross, you guys, I got this cute little gold bunny with a butterfly on the nose. I thought this would bring in a little bit of gold that I've been wanting to you know, add touches of gold to my space. So I thought this would bring in a little bit of that. I'm not sure exactly where in my space I'll use this, but I will definitely find a place for this. Also in Ross, you guys, look how cute this sheep is. Absolutely gorge. I love it. It's going to bring another texture to my space. And you guys know how much I love to add different texture throughout my space. This was... $4.99 at Ross and again I got two of these so pretty so plush and it's really lightweight but I just thought this was the cutest thing you guys so I picked two of this up from Ross they're full wooden books and it says with God all things are possible and again for Easter I just thought this was perfect cute add a little bit of a rustic vibe but 
you know I'm also into the rustic decor. I purchased this for $7.99 at Bell's Outlet. Also, you guys from Ross, I purchased four of these bunny coasters. Thought this was pretty because I'm adding some pearls and glam to my space. So I thought this would go perfect with that. And I purchased these for $4.99 for a set of four, you guys. And also, I got this truck. And I just thought this was cute, perfect for Easter because I could either add flowers or some carrots in the back or, you know, do something that's going to bring it up a notch as far as the Easter decor goes. And also, I feel like I can use this during Christmas season. So I just thought this was a cute find. I picked it up at Bell's Outlet for $14.99, you guys. Okay, again, from TJ Maxx, we're going back and forth, Ross, TJ Maxx, it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes that's just how it goes. So from TJ Maxx, I picked this cute little bunny up, and again, with the glam and the rustic, I like to merge the two, you guys. So I thought this was cute. Um, I paid $5.99 for this. I can use it this way, or I can use it this way. And I purchased two of these. So cute. And here are some carrots. Again, with the rustic, you guys, from glam to rustic, I'm a little bit of both, so I'm always gonna try to merge the two styles together. And so I picked this up from TJ Maxx for $7.99. And I just thought these were cute. They still give off a, a pearl vibe, but you know, a little bit different from the regular straight carrots. So I really like these. And they came in a pack of five. And like I said, they were $7.99. So not bad for $8, right? And I got some neutral carrots. These you cannot separate. They are sewn together. I purchased this again for $7.99 from TJ Maxx. And here are the same ones, just different colors. Again, you cannot separate these because they're sewn together, but they are but they look so cute in the cluster. So you really just need to fluff the top and style these. And these were also $7.99 from TJ Maxx. Same concept, just a different color. And then of course, what would Easter be without some eggs, right? Some Easter eggs. So I picked this one up at TJ Maxx for $6.99 and they're just uh, assorted colors green blue pink and gold thought these would add a little bit more Easter to my space so I picked up two of these and then for my kitchen I picked up this uh, Easter soap and lotion set the scent is spring lavender and as pretty as these are, you guys, they smell amazing. So if you see these, grab them. Um, thought these were cute and will add a little Easter to my kitchen. So I picked this up from Bell's Outlet for $7.99. Yeah, we're back at Ross. Um, and I picked this little canister up. It has a little bunny face on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's $8.99 from Ross. It was just cute. It has a little gold air right here. So again, another Easter touch to my kitchen. So I picked this one up. I actually wanted to get two of them, but I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. So I just went ahead and grabbed the one. Um, and also I got this kind of polka dot and stripe gold and white egg for $7.99 just to add some variations of the eggs going through the spaces um $7.99 I think this was I'm not even sure where I got this from it might have been from Bell's Outlet as well yeah I think this was from Bell's Outlet and then you guys from Ross I got these beautiful beaded pearl eggs they were on sale for $11.99 you guys the original price was $16 so they're in a pack of six they're assorted I only picked the one pack up but I thought 
I thought these were super cute and I didn't want to leave them. So then from the Target dollar spot, I picked this little tray up. It's a bunny tray. It's supposed to be tiered. Not sure what I'm going to be putting on this, but it was only $5. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I'd rather have it not need it then think oh my gosh i should have gotten it and then i don't have it so i just went ahead and picked it up for five dollars from the target dollar spot more easter to my kitchen you guys you see where i'm going right also you guys on one of my trips to home goods i went ahead and picked up this gold uh ginger jar or canister if you will so i just thought it was pretty cool it was interesting has lots of details on it and I wanted to try it out and see how I liked it in my space. It also looks a little bit vintage. So it just spoke to me. So I wanted to go ahead and see how it would look in my space. So I picked this up. Um, I'm really happy that I did for $24.99. You guys, you can't go wrong. So loving this right now. From Ross, I picked up these black apple. They were $6.99 each. And I just thought they were... Um, simple but elegant you guys i hope you guys are seeing the vision sometimes black just add a little bit of class to your space um and a lot of people don't really like to use black to decorate but the right amount of black i'm trying to tell you you guys but the right amount of black can add that drama that touch it you know that splash of interest contrast you know what i mean so i really like these apples i picked two of them up you guys Maybe I could put it on a coffee table book or something, you know, give my space a little bit more elegance. And also from Ross, I picked up this bowl. I thought this was perfect for either my kitchen or my entryway table. I paid $16.99 and again, it's black, but it also have kind of a aged look, but there is something so beautiful about this imperfect piece. It's not meant to be solid one color and I'm loving this. So I also can't wait to use this in the space. Maybe I'll add a few, you know, balls or beaded garland in it and drape it down the side. It's gonna look really nice, you guys. So Ross has been coming through a little bit for me. So for $19.99, you guys, I picked this up from Ross. And I just thought this was so interesting. I have seen the male version of this in other spaces and my girl Sandia did a live and she also had the male version of this. But when I saw this in Ross, I was like, yes, I have seen the male version, you guys, but I haven't really seen the female version of it. And I thought it was done so artistic, sculpted so well. So I went ahead and picked this up. Again, I paid $19.99 and I picked this up from Ross. Beautiful. Also in Ross, I believe. Yes, in Ross, I got this for $18.99. Hope you guys can see that. Let's see, turn it this way. $18.99 from Ross. And it's really just a female head. Just like, you know, in deep thoughts. <laughs> and I don't know, this, these culture always just speak to me when I see them. So black and gold, you guys. It's going to be very easy for you to add other pieces and style them together. So I just thought this was a really nice find. And then you guys, I got this on sale from TJ Maxx for only $10, right? And I just love interesting shaped vase because they're going to, they're not going to look like everybody else's vase. They're just going to give your space a more upscale look a more I, I talk about interest all the time but really it's going to give your space a more interesting feel um a conversation starter if you will somebody comes into your house and they see it they're like oh my gosh that's such a cute face as opposed to vases that they see all the time so i love pieces like that the texture the the shape anything like that will speak to me so this was on sale at tj maxx for ten dollars so i went ahead and picked this up and again, I went to Home Goods, <laughs> aka the candy shop, and I got a cake plate. This is a silver kind of glittery cake plate, and I got this for nine ninety nine. You guys. So 
I got this because I'm always doing tablescape. So I thought this was a, a way of bringing other uh, pieces or other elements in other than just the silverware, the stemware, and the plates. So that was for $9.99 from Home Goods. And also, you guys got the matching salad plates to go with it. They came in a set of four for $9.99. It's a very smooth glass like texture on the top and then at the bottom it's rough and glittery so guys you get best of both worlds with this you get texture texture and more texture and I also you guys got the um the dinner plate they had the bowls but for some reason i just didn't get the bowls these were 16.99 these are also four pieces and again smooth on top rough and glittery at the back silver i think these are going to look beautiful i do need to find two more or something that will go really great with these because these came in a set of four and my table sits six so i definitely need something else that's going to complement these before i even bring that tablescape to you guys but i'm sure i'll come up with something freeze right around the corner you guys so now my brain is shifting to fix in my outside and my entryway area. So not only am I shopping for pieces to bring the space together and seasonal home decor, but I'm also shopping for um, outdoor pieces as well. So I'm gonna show you the mat that I purchased for my front door. You guys know that I love black. So I picked up this little welcome I mean, hello. I picked up this little hello doormat, you guys. Thought this was absolutely cute to put at my front door. So I picked that up for my front door and I want you guys to stay tuned because soon, because very soon I have an entryway refresh coming for you guys. And then this is kind of what I was going for. If you look at the picture, I'm gonna lay this down first. And then that mat that I just showed you is going to be on top like that. So I can't wait for you guys to see how everything looks. But these are my entryway rug and also my doormat. So next, as I stated before, I went through my girl Sandia's Amazon store and I purchased some curtains because I need some privacy ASAP in this house <laughs> as soon as possible. So I already have some curtain rods that I purchased and I showed you guys in my last haul that I did. Now I have the curtains. So let me show you guys what those look like. They came two in a pack like this. These are 108. I will put the price again on the screen because I don't remember how much. I think I paid like 42 or $45 for a set of, for a pair of two, 108. So that wasn't too bad. Um, I already went ahead and opened it. I already went ahead and opened one of them. So let me just show you outside of the package what it looks like. So it's a velvet. And I know it's getting towards the summer, but I needed some blackout velvet. If you look closely, there's a little pattern on it. I really wanted something heavy to mimic drapery, you know. So they're light. Even though they're velvet, they're fairly light. They're blackout curtains. This is the bottom and I'm gonna show you the top. This is the top. And you can run your rods through here or you can run it through these loops, which is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna run my curtain rods through these loops here. So this is one of the reasons why I got this curtain. Love the pattern that's in there. I love that I can have multiple ways of hanging um, the rod, putting the rods through. And it's, of course, the size that I needed. The only thing I'm not sure about is the color because it's giving a gray tint to it. And I needed, actually, yeah, it's giving a gray tint to it. And I kind of wanted it to have a more creamy beige look, um, but I don't think I'm returning these. So however, <laughs> however it's gonna look, you guys, it's just gonna have to stay. But these are absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I love the 
understated pattern that it has in it. It's not too much in your face, but it's there, very subtle. So those I purchased from Amazon, like I said, I will put the price on the screen for you to see if you're interested in as well as my girl Sandia's Amazon store because I purchased them through her store. Um, almost to the end, I have two more pieces to show you, but I'm going to split the camera around, okay? So here we go. There we go, you guys. I actually just remembered that I have, after I show you these pieces, I still have two more items to show you. So I apologize, I have two more items. I have two more items after I showed you this. So this is what I'm going for. I know my walls are plain, but I still wanted to go for something subtle as far as wall art. So I went to Home Goods and I saw this. They had one with a lot more black in it. And I decided not to get that one because I was a little bit scared to be honest. This one is, it has just enough interest. It has texture, the color, and I'm, I'm happy with it. And I love the black frame because I have a lot of black in my space anyway. So this will go really nice with all those pieces. I'm gonna try to bring it closer so you guys can see some, see what I'm talking about as far as the texture that is on here. So if you look, and you'll see that, and as you get to know me and know my how I like to decorate my space, as much as I like to add a pop of something, whether that's color or size or whatever i still like to have most of my space very subtle um, there's something about simplicity that speaks to me when it comes to design so i'm either gonna do really really subtle or a few pops here and there and and you'll get to see that throughout our journey here on satoya's home and lifestyle another thing that i purchased you guys was this mirror and i'm gonna move this out the way so you can see it a little bit better but you guys know that i have a table similar to this at my entryway and so i was going for this look because i thought it would match a little bit better i love my gold mirrors that i have right now but i feel like i wanted a little bit of a change um, so i thought this mirror would do just that. I purchased this from Home Goods. You guys are seeing all the mess that I made on my floor, but I purchased this from Home Goods, you guys. It's 36 inches, and I think it's going to just give me that simplistic elegance that I'm going for. Again, I know I keep saying that, but that's really what I'm shooting for. I want modern. I want transitional, timeless, classic, you know, every now and then you will, sh you will see me pop some glam in there, or you will see me pop a few colors here and there, but most of my space is always going to be either neutral, simple, or transitional, or all of the above. So, thought this would add exactly what I'm looking for over the entryway table, and then... I also purchased this throw from Amazon. It's a black and white throw. I haven't opened it yet. And I kind of don't want to open it because it's, it's a surprise. I'm purchasing some black and white pieces, but they are a surprise, okay? So stay tuned for that. But I also purchased this Louis Vuitton book from Home Goods. And I got this on sale, you guys, and I thought, wow, absolutely gorgeous. Some real interesting um, pages in here but I really bought it for aesthetics and then as well I've been wanting some black books um, I'm searching for some thinner ones this one is a little bit thick it's really heavy 
but I've been um, I've been on the hunt for some black books so also when I'm ready I know I can take the sleeve off of this and style it so I can get really two looks from this book and again I purchased it from home goods on sale and I will put the price on the screen because I think it's either $59.99 or $69.99 that I purchased it from okay really loving it and then my last item that I'm really excited about is this huge kind of bowl vase if you will I'm gonna be putting this on my table with some moss or even some succulents I'm not sure yet but I really love the size of this by itself you guys it's going to be a statement piece I purchased this also in home goods for $39.99 can you believe the size of this these bowls you guys they sell anywhere from a hundred and fifty dollars all the way up to three hundred even more depending on where you buy these so I thought this was a steal really nice and whatever I decide to put in this I will definitely be doing it on camera so you guys stay tuned for that okay I lied I have one more item <laughs> I have one more item that I wanted to share with you guys and I think that's going to be it also from home goods it's really heavy so give me a moment give me a second I purchased this to put some greenery in I'm gonna put like a maybe like a six or seven foot plant in it I'm trying to get maybe like an olive tree or something I don't know if the size is coming off on camera but this is really big and I love the stone look almost like concrete with the imperfect holes in there really pretty I hope it's coming off um, on camera as it looks in person because this is gorgeous and this this home styler is gonna bring my space up a notch it's gonna add some elegance to it a, a really nice high-end look to my space when I'm done with it and then maybe on top, once the plant is placed in here, maybe on top I'll put maybe some Spanish moss or some stone or something to make it look more realistic. Um, but I cannot wait to style this and show you how it turned out. So home stylers, that's my collective haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that was a lot, um, but we got through it and I thought it was fun. Hopefully you guys saw something that you like and are able to go out to your local home goods, TJ Maxx, Ross, or even online and grab them before they're all gone. Um, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate your patience because I know that I need to be putting content out, you guys, but I'm working on some. And then sometimes, you guys, life is happening outside of YouTube, so I'm not able to, but thank you for your patience. Thank you for tuning in to another one of my video. And... I can't wait to see you in the next one. Don't forget that the Island Designers have another collaboration coming really soon and we will announce exactly what that entails. Um, so stay tuned for that. Before you leave, I want you to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and hit that like button so other people can know about Satoya's home and lifestyle. I really do appreciate y'all's support. Thank you guys so, so much again. Stay blessed and until next time, later.